Okay, so what is gas absorption? And first let me read the formal definition. It's always good to have a technical formal definition so you understand what it is and which things are technically speaking gas absorption and technically speaking not gas absorption. So it goes as follows. Gas absorption is a operation in which a gas mixture is contacted with a liquid for the purpose of preferentially dissolving one or more components of the gas mixture and to provide a solution of them in the liquid. So ideally, let's say you have a gas which has pollutant X, Y, and C. What you're going to do is interact, maybe throwing water. Of course, this is maybe you imagine yourself throwing a stream of water, but this can be via bubbles, dispersion of gas, dispersion of liquid or so. We're going to see other applications. But for the sake of the example, let's assume that this is a magic water wall. So whenever you pass this here, the gas goes clean because the liquid is interacting with X, Y, and C. So it takes away X, Y, and C. A very silly example I always show so you get the idea. Let's say that this gas is actually air and this is water. Let's assume that we have, let's make it simple. Let's assume this is just dust. So whenever you add water to the air, you know that if you have plenty of water, the dust will go to the air, sorry, to water from the air, will drop, and then you will have, let's say, water plus dust, and the gas will be clean without dust. So this is a very silly example, but easy and powerful for you to understand what is gas absorption. The idea, maybe you want to use this gas for combustion, so you don't want to have dust, now, let's say other examples, CO2, you don't want CO2 for combustion, you don't want nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxides, etc. You want a clean gas, in this specific case, the air. So let me clean this up and let me read this definition very slowly for you to understand. So gas absorption, you can see this requires a gas and absorption will be the operation. As stated here, it's a, a operation, so most likely you are going to need a unit operation, which is called the maybe scrubber, the absorber, uh, or maybe the cleaner. It, it may have different names, but you will need a unit operation. In which the gas mixture, very important, you need to have a ga gas mixture. You have, let's say, pure oxygen. By definition, you cannot have gas absorption is contacted with a liquid. So this concept right here, contacted, is very interesting. What do we imply by contact is literally, you can have some, let's say bubbles of gas and you may have a liquid, or maybe you have a static liquid and you can add the gas by force. I don't know, whatever way you contact, you should have liquid gas phase interaction. And this is the interesting part right here because you as an engineer, you are with the task to select which type of contact or unit operation you're going to select for this gas absorption. Okay, with a liquid, so once again, you gotta have gas and liquid phase, gas mixture and liquid. The liquid can be pure for, let's say for the previous example, we use pure water. So of course you can have pure water. Not, not likely you're going to have pure water. Maybe you have some calcium, calcium carbonate residual material or whatever material you may have in water it's fine as long as it won't interact with the materials and is used overall of course we say preferentially to dissolve one material sometimes you will see that we don't want to dissolve maybe x so x should not be dissolved but y yes because y is toxic and x is valuable for us but you will see that Technically or economically, it is not feasible. We have a solvent which takes both away. And since maybe, I don't know, they fine for having certain concentration of Y in the gas outlet is very high compared to the value of X, then you will see that in reality, you will take away X and Y. So that's why preferentially. One or more, because sometimes we might be interested in two. Uh, let's go to the other extreme in which we are not interested in the gas. We are interested in, let's say, L, M, and N, because these are catalysts which 
are very expensive and they help us for our reaction in the reactor the gas is actually stack gas so we are not interested in the gas but we want to recover L, M and N we can do this via absorption and we can recover this so that's why you can be interested in one or more components and the overall idea is to provide a solution or a final liquid mixture with these species L, M and N or X, Y and maybe your idea is to clean the gas, maybe your idea is to recover this material, or maybe the idea is to add some material to the liquid. Maybe, I don't know, you have, this is not likely to happen, but by definition you could, maybe you need to increase the component X in liquid, and you know that you have a gas stream with X, so why not use absorption in order to increase the content of X in the liquid. This is not likely to happen in real life, but still, by definition, you can do it. Okay, let me clean that away. So now that you get the idea, hopefully you get the idea, let's continue to the second bullet. There is by, hopefully you understand that there was some mass transfer. In the review we saw that mass transfer is done via a change in concentration or concentration gradient. If you have the gas phase with certain concentration and the liquid phase with certain concentration of X, X, by definition, if you have different concentrations, you will have a gradient or a change in equilibrium. So the material is likely to move. So that is what I imply with mass transfer. Okay, third bullet says the solute is therefore called the it is absorbed by the liquid. So whenever I say it is absorbed by or it was absorbed, please assume that the absorption is taking place from the gas to the liquid talking about X. Now this is my last bullet before ending the lecture. And the process of gas absorption thus involves the diffusion of solute from the gas phase through a stagnant or non-diffusing liquid. I, I know that you might find this interesting. Probably if you already took some mass transfer, you know this specific case in which you have diffusion. Remember diffusion occurs in two cases in, bin in binary mixtures the first case is either equimolar in which you know that A goes to the right side and B goes to the left side in the same amounts but we're not talking about that and the other one is A goes to B alone also known as unimolecular diffusion or also known as stagnant or non-diffusing B so what is this implying is that B is the liquid phase A is the interest material so a goes into b okay guys that is what is gas absorption hopefully you get the idea you have any doubts just send me a message or post it in the discussion board or comments i'm looking forward for any of your doubts and clearing them hopefully you get the idea because if you don't get the idea i'm going to add more examples so go and check them out hopefully if you, we see some examples here in the real world, you get the idea of what is gas absorption.